This is another important problem from the concept of magnetism. Let's go through the problem. A magnetic circuit has a mean length of 50 cm and an air gap of 1 mm. It is wound with a coil of 500 turns carrying current of 3 ampere. The cross sectional area of the core is 10 cm square. The mm of required for air gap is 60% of the total mm of. We have to determine the flex phi, the total reluctance, the mu r of n. And it is given, we have to neglect the leakage flux. Actually, in this circuit, other than the magnetic core, here also present a small air gap. Therefore, this is a representation of the magnetic circuit shown which consists of coils number of turns are wound on the coil and n is given as 500 and a current i of 3 ampere is flowing through the coil and as a result of this circuit a magnetic flux phi will be set up across the circuit and this is an example of a series magnetic circuit this series magnetic circuit consists of two medium that is the first medium is the iron part or the the part of the circular ring that is the iron part and the second part is the air or the air gap therefore this magnetic circuit consists of two parts in connected in series or two parts in series that is first part is the iron part and second part is the air part or the small air gap therefore a small amount of flux will leak through the air gap and it is given in the question that we have to assume that we have to neglect the leakage flux and find the solution for the problem so the question is more simpler here we have to neglect the leakage flux here when current i passes through the 500 turns of the coil corresponding mm of will be set up across the coil that is mm of is equal to n into i that is 500 into 3 is equal to 1500 ampere turns and this mm of is responsible for or this mm of set up or tend to set up magnetic flux in the total magnetic circuit that this mm of set up a flux phi across the magnetic circuit and this magnetic flux phi passes through two parts that is the iron part and the iron part and the air part Therefore, this magnetic flux phi is opposed to by the reluctance of the iron part and the reluctance of the air gap. Therefore, we know that iron is a magnetic material, so its reluctance is low, whereas the reluctance of air gap is high because it is not magnetic and the reluctance of air gap is high. Therefore, the, as a result of the MM of setup, Flex as a result of the mm of um, by the current i passing through number of turns 500 of the coil a flex phi is set up across the circuit and this flex phi has to move through or this flex phi is set up across two parts that is the iron part as well as the air gap both this iron part and air part have reluctance and this flex phi is opposed by the reluctance of the iron part plus the reluctance of the air gap that is the total reluctance s is the sum of the iron gap iron part reluctance and the air gap reluctance and here the question it is given the mean length of is magnetic core is 50 cm that is the total circumference or approximate length of the magnetic circuit is 50 cm and the small air gap length is given as 1 mm and the small air gap length is given as 1 mm next is given n is 500 and current is 3 amperes also it is given the cross sectional area of the core is 10 cm square next part the mm of required for air gap is 60 percentage of the total mm of as we described the magnetic flux phi is phi is opposed to by the reluctance of both the mm of both the reluctance of the air gap and the reluctance of the iron part and comparatively the reluctance of the air gap is higher than that of the reluctance of the iron part and as a result more mm of is required in the iron part more mm sorry more mm is required in the air gap than that of the iron part to set up a flex phi across the total magnetic circuit we know that flex is set up as a result of mmf and this setting up of flex is opposed by reluctance and as a result the reluctance of the air gap is higher than that of the iron part and as a result more 
एम एम एफ इज रिक्वर्ड इन द आयन एयर गैप मोर एम एम एफ रिक्वर्ड इन द एयर गैप दैन दैट ऑफ दैट रिक्वर्ड बाय इन द आयन पार्ट टू सेट अप ए फ्लेक्स दैट इज गिवन अस द एम एम एफ रिक्वर्ड फॉर एयर गैप इज 60% ऑफ द टोटल एम एम एफ दैट इज द 60% ऑफ द टोटल एम एम एफ प्रोवाइडेड बाय द करंट कैरिंग कोइल इज यूज्ड टू सेट अप फ्लेक्स इन द स्मॉल एयर गैप वेयर एज ओनली 40% ऑफ द 60 percentage is used in the air gap whereas only 40 percentage of the total mmf is used in the iron part it is because the reluctance of iron part is lesser than that of the air gap all the reluctance or the opposition offered to the flex is higher in the air gap because it is non magnetic so we have to firstly we have to write the data as Firstly, it is given the mean length of the circuit is 50 cm and that is equal to 50 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. Next, let it be Li or length of the iron part. Next is the length of the air gap. Next is the length of the air gap. Li is equal to 1 mm that is equal to 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter and 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter next one number of turns is given as 500 and current i is given as 3 amperes next is cross section area of the core cross section area of the core is 10 centimeter square that is equal to 10 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square Next one given is the MMF required for air gap is 60% of the total MMF. Therefore, the MMF required for the air gap, air gap is 60% of MMF, total MMF. MMF required for air gap is 60% of total MMF and MMF required for iron part is equal to 40% of the total mmf and we have to neglect the leakage flex and determine the flex phi the total reluctance and relative permeability of the ion let's go through the first two part that is we have to determine the flex phi here directly we can determine the total mmf provided by the current carrying coil of 500 turns that is total mm of is equal to n into i that is equal to 500 into 3 amperes that is equal to 1500 ampere turns this is a total mm of provided by the coil next we have to determine the mm of used in the air gap or mm of required in the air gap mm of required in the air gap mm of required in the air gap is equal to 60 percentage of 1500 that is equal to 900 ampere turns whereas mm of required in the iron part mm of required in the iron part is equal to 600 ampere turns that is the remaining 40 percent that is 600 ampere turns is used in the iron part and 900 ampere turns is used in the air gap for setting up flex in the circuit next we can determine the reluctance of the air gap we have to determine the reluctance of the air gap or SA of the air gap we have to determine the reluctance of the air gap reluctance is given by L by mu 0 mu r into A that is here SA is given by reluctance of the air gap, length of the air gap divided by mu 0 into mu r of the air gap mu r of the air gap into area of cross section of the air gap that is equal to we have for air we have relative permeability mu r is equal to 1 therefore the equation reduces to l a by mu 0 into a here area of cross section of the air gap area of cross section the here we can see that area of cross section or the path of the area sorry the path of the flex that moves from one part of the iron ring to the next part of the iron ring therefore the area of cross section of the air gap is also same as that of the area of cross section of the core therefore the equation reduced to la by mu 0 into a that is equal to 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into area of cross section is 10 into 10 to the power
and that is given as total reluctance of the air gap is 7.96 <coughs> 7 into 10 to the power 5 ampere turns per Weber. This is a total reluctance of the air gap. And then from this equation, we can simply determine the flux in the air gap. We have flux phi is equal to MMF in the air gap divided by reluctance of the air gap. We know MMF, MMF in the used in the air gap is equal to 900 ampere turns. Therefore, flux phi is equal to 900 divided by SA that is 7.96 into 10 to the power 5 and that is equal to 1.13 into 10 to the power minus 3 Weber. This is a flux in the air gap. Since this is a series magnetic circuit, we know that in a series magnetic circuit, the flux remains constant in two parts. That is, the flux in the air gap is also similar to the flux in the iron part. Therefore, total flux which is set up across circuit is 1.13 into 10 to the power minus 3 over that is this flex is also the same in the iron part and from that we can determine therefore we get the total flex or the flex set up across the magnetic circuit is 1.13 into 10 to the power minus 3 Weber's. and the next part we have to determine the total reluctance of the magnetic circuit we have s total is equal to s air gap plus s iron part we have already determined the reluctance of the air gap and then now we have to determine the reluctance of the iron part we can determine reluctance of the iron part in two from two equations the similar equation is we have reluctance of the iron part is length of the iron part or length of the iron part li divided by mu zero into mu r into a here we doesn't know the mu r of iron so we can use the alternate equation reluctance of the iron part is equal to mmf of mmf used for the iron ring mmf used in the iron ring divided by the magnetic flux phi that is we know the mmf used in the iron ring is 600 ampere turns divided by reluctance is 1.13 into 10 to the power minus 3 and that is equal to 5.31 into 10 to the power 5 ampere turns this is a total reluctance of the iron part and then s total is equal to 7.96 into 10 to the power minus 3 plus 5.31 into 10 to the power minus 3 and that is equal to 1.327 into 10 to the power 6 ampere turns per Weber. So, this is a total reluctance offered by both the air gap as well as the iron part. Next, the third part we have to determine the mu r of the iron. That part we have to determine the mu r of the iron. And from the previous step also, I have provided the equation. Reluctance of the iron part, reluctance of the iron part SI is equal to Li divided by mu 0 into mu r into A. We know the LHS of the equation. From this equation, we can write mu r is equal to Li divided by pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into AI, and that is equal to into SI, and that is equal to 50 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by. 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 10 into 10 to the power minus 4 into reluctance of the iron part that is equal to 5.31 into 10 to the power 5 and from solving this we get the value of mu r as 749.3 and that is approximately equal to 749. So I have received the, all the three parameters. Let's go through the example once again. This is a basic example. It is given as the 60 percentage of the total MMF is used in the air gap and 40 percentage of the total MMF is used in the iron part. Initially, I write down all the given data and from the first part, I have to determine the flex and from for that, I have initially, I have determined the total MMF and it is given, it is split into 60 percent and 40 percent and from that, I obtain the total MMF used in the air gap is 900 ampere turns whereas total MMF used in the iron part is 600 ampere turns. Then, I have determined the reluctance of the air gap 
from this equation i have obtained the reluctance of the air gap and since it is a serious magnetic circuit the flux remains constant in both parts therefore the total flux is same as that of the flux in the iron part therefore total flux is 1.13 into 10 to the power minus 3 then second part is to determine the total reluctance you have total reluctance is the reluctance offered by the two parts sum of the reluctance that is sag plus sip that is reluctance of the iron part plus reluctance of the air gap and i have simply determined the reluctance of the a iron part from the equation mm of in the iron part that is mm of used in the iron part divided by flex that is 600 into 1.13 into 10 raised to power minus that is 5.31 into 10 to the power 3 ampere tens therefore the total reluctance s is equal to 1.327 into 10 to the power 6 ampere tens and the next third part is i have to determine the mu r of iron and from this equation i have can simply determine mu r of the iron as 749 this is all about solving this problem. Therefore, by knowing the three, three or four simple basic equation, I can solve such a simple, such a problem. Uh, this problem is usually asked for 10 marks for KTU and this problem is quite is a bit difficult to understand but if you understand this is one of the simplest problem as compared to mesh analysis and node analysis and we can easily score 10 marks for this problem. You have to only understand three or four equation and the concepts of the magnetic circuit. Thank you.